Welcome to the Super Coffee Bros podcast. I'm here today with my co-host and older brother, Paul. You could have just said brother. I could have. Good morning or afternoon, whatever time. Depends on where you're at, I suppose. True. Good day. Yes. Um, So we're going to talk coffee today. We're going to taste test some flavors today. And we'll talk a little bit more about that because today we have a guest with us, Julia Le Ray. Did I say that right? <laughs> Julia La Ray. Julia La Ray. <laughs> yes. And she is from Wisconsin. Correct. And Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And she. Go is, Bucks. That's right. Huh? Go Packers, go Brewers, go yeah. Badgers. <laughs> and she is our rep for Tarani, who is our flavors that we use for all of our drinks. Thank you for having me. Yeah, welcome. So we'll talk a little bit about Tarani and a little bit about those flavors uh, today. So, Julia, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I know that you've been with Tarani for about 11 years, and you said you've been in the coffee industry for 23 years. Yeah, tell us a little bit about that. Well, how, did you get in the, how did you get in the coffee industry? Oh, that's Well, I'm going to start way back. Um, when I was in college, I actually studied pre-med. And that has nothing to do with selling syrup at all. Um, I got sick in college with mono and went back to work to make money to go back to school. And I worked for a staffing agency. And I actually hired uh, a sales rep for a specialty coffee broker in Milwaukee. So that's how I was introduced to the specialty coffee industry. He needed a second sales rep. I did the recruiting. I was not finding what he looked for. So he asked me to go out to lunch, and he said, I want to hire you. So I became a uh, sales rep for a specialty coffee broker, handling everything from Minnesota to Texas, and then worked for multiple other companies, and eventually Tarani. Now, are you a coffee lover? Yes. should ask. Coffee, okay. tea, yeah. everything in the specialty coffee industry. And now, of course, you can add energy and refreshers, and I just love it. But I'm not an all-day coffee drinker. Uh-huh. I'm a morning coffee drinker. Uh, yeah. As yeah. am I. Yeah. And, and that's mostly due to my age. Yeah, so the older right. I get, the less coffee afternoon. Yeah, I tend to like sleep a lot more than my coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Julia, I'm curious, uh, what is a day in the life of Julia like? Uh, working with Tarani, what do you do on a daily basis? It changes every day because it really depends on what our operators and what our distributors are looking for. Um, You know, you start off in the morning just by opening up your laptop and start looking at the emails that came through probably the night before what you didn't get to finish. But then it's just following up on leads, making our weekly or monthly calls to all of our distributor partners to see how we can support them. We travel quite often. I'm on the road almost every single week, especially for the last three months. Um, It's just been exciting to see how much this industry has changed, how much this region has changed in the upper Midwest. And we're finally getting the trends that both coasts of the United States have been having for the last like three to five years. So it's a lot of fun. So that's interesting. So you're saying that uh, the flavors that start out maybe on the East Coast or the West Coast don't actually hit the Midwest till... A couple years later, is that kind of what you're saying? So we're a little behind here. Yeah, we're always behind in the Midwest, and it's okay. I'm a Midwest girl, you know, born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My father was a police officer. But the Midwest is apprehensive to change. Um, We know what we like. We're apprehensive to ask a lot of questions because we're okay with what we have. Um, But it's just we have to make sure that we communicate with people. Eventually, all of those trends from both sides of the country get here. And we want to make sure, as a regional manager for Tarani, we want to make sure that our operators and our distributors are ready for those trends when they get here or maybe introduce them before they actually get here. So it's 2023. I want I would like a prediction today. In <laughs> today. two years, 2024, oh. 2024, what is going to be hitting the Midwest that right now is on the East Coast or the West Coast? I, I'm just curious. Is this... Like for everybody, do I get to get in on this, or you're well, actually I'm asking, asking her because she's, Julia. you know, she said it's about two years, <laughs> so she should, she should be able to make a prediction, and and we okay. should be able to come back in two I just years figured and see when you get to predictions, anybody can can probably take well, a stab could, at that. We could sure. let you go for I it. I think that's just a guessing game at that point. A prediction is just a guess, but um, we're seeing a lot of clean, a lot of adaptogens, a lot of electrolytes. People and consumers in general are really paying attention to what they're putting in their bodies. Um, so I think we're going to see a lot more of that. But on the flip coin, 
We're seeing a lot of flavored energy, a lot of flavored refreshers. So it's either one spectrum or the other, and it really is operator-driven. So if it's more of a purist cafe, they're going to go more towards the adaptogens and the electrolytes. And if it's just you know a typical uh, cafe, a go-to destination, they're really adding more energy or flavored energy, flavored refreshers to their menus. Okay. So we'll, we'll see. We'll check back in yeah. 2025 and... That should be what's trending in the Midwest. You'll already, you'll already have it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's right. We did talk through these things earlier we this did, morning. We did. Thanks and, for the uh, prep work. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, one of the things, and I guess I have a question. So we've been in business just about as long as you've actually been in the coffee industry. Yeah. So we're right there with you. And we've had this partnership with Tarani for a long time now. Um, and, and early on, we had some different flavors. And then I don't know how we discovered Tarani, but once we had it, we really appreciated the flavor profile and, and then, of course, the simplicity of dealing with you oh, and thank you. the other folks. Um, does anybody have an idea, Jared or, or Julia, do you know how long we've actually been working together? Well, I probably wouldn't be the right person to answer that question because you were already an established partner of Tarani's when I came on board yeah. 11 years ago. Um, in the coffee industry, so 23, uh-huh. um, that was probably my predecessor that yeah. uh, was the regional manager at the time. So um, at least so 11 years. Yeah. Over 11 years. That's hard to believe. Right. Yeah. It's a long time. Yeah. And so much growth um, yeah. since that time and, and adding not only just new flavors, but providing information on different trends that you have implemented mm-hmm. within your cafes that really fits who Five Lakes Coffee is and with the customers that you service. Mm-hmm. So we appreciate your partnership. So thank you very much. Well, and I'm likewise. curious, um, you know, we love Tarani and the flavor profile. I'm curious if you could give us a little insight on what makes Tarani different. Oh, there are many um, things that makes Tarani different that sets us apart. But in saying that, I do want to point out that uh, we never badmouth our competition. They are good, right? They wouldn't be competition if they weren't good. Mm-hmm. But there are significant differences, and a job of a good salesperson is to point them out. And ultimately, it's the operator or the consumer's choice on how, what they want to pick. But um, Trani only uses all natural ingredients, right? So uh, natural flavoring, um, we do have preservatives in our product, but there's no artificial color or flavoring or preservatives in our pure-made line. Our smoothies are clean. Our sauces are clean. Um, we only use pure cane sugar and natural flavoring in all of our syrups. Um, but it's also the manu- manufacturing process that I believe makes a difference. A lot of our competition does a hot fill. Trani does a cold fill. Ultimately, that does affect the flavor of the drink and the consistency of the drink from start to finish. And mm-hmm. I think that is one of the most important things to really communicate not only to operators but also consumers. More importantly to operators, because when a consumer walks in your door, you want to make sure that they have a quality drink from start to finish, right? That they The first sip that they took of that beautiful vanilla flavored latte at Five Lakes Coffee is the same quality that they have at that last sip. Yeah. What is, uh, what is cold fill? What does that mean? So when you're doing a cold fill, it means that the process or the product is actually cold before it fills, they fill the, the, the bottle. Um, some other manufacturers do a hot fill, so they actually mm-hmm. cook the product before they fill the bottle. Okay, So that changes the flavor of the, the product itself. Mm-hmm. It could taste like candy or it could taste like jam. Um, when Tarani does the gold standard flavor profile, we have multiple different items of whatever flavor we're looking for, like let's just say salted egg yolk, which happens to be one of our Asian-inspired syrups. Yeah. In the Midwest, that flavor <laughs> will not resonate, will it, right? So as a good regional manager, what descriptives can we use in our operators that will help communicate to the consumer what that flavor is? Salted egg yolk, after all of the panel testing to come up with that gold standard flavor in the Midwest, is actually salted custard. Yeah. So as a sales rep, right, communicating to Five Lakes Coffee how to menu that flavor so you're communicating to your consumer what it is. Yep. Yeah, we're going to have to retry that because <clears throat> Please, yeah, that was uh, really a surprise <laughs> flavor that you came out with, <laughs> like, was it two years ago? Yes. And there was this mystery leading up to it. I remember uh, egg-flavored potato chips arrived in yeah. the mail yeah. and, and all these different things. And then one day, finally, it was a bottle of, egg yolk mm-hmm. flavored flavoring and it took us by surprise and we tasted it but we, we couldn't put our finger on it it's yeah. like what in the world 
is this? And uh, I know it's big in the the Asian culture, sure. that flavor. Mm -hmm. So then for you to actually finally explain to us that it's custard, we're like, mm -hmm. oh, of course. And yeah. uh, and that's big in Wisconsin, I it's think. Big, it's right? huge in Wisconsin. I mean, you have Leon's <laughs> and Cops, and I could go on and on. Yeah. But Culver's, I'm, too, that's what which I'm is thinking national. But and, and we have one here in town, yeah, too. Yeah, I so. ate there last night. But um, <laughs> so, yeah, I, it's really important when Trani sits down and does our gold standard flavor testing, and it's the the salted egg chips, the yeah. potato chips, right? We're actually participating all of our distributor partners or operators or consumers into this flavor of the year, that this is our third year in 2024, coming yeah. out with a new flavor of the year. But we want your participation. We want you to see what Tarani does in R&D when they come out with a new flavor. Uh -huh. That is what they do. They taste all different items from all different categories and determines what is the gold standard that we're looking for. And then they okay. make the flavor off of that. So the blue gummies that I <laughs> tasted this morning that were from Tarani, that's something your R&D would have gone through is pulling all these I'm, different flavors. That That's for the 2024 uh -huh. flavor of the year. And I'm pleading the fifth because uh -huh. it has not been released. All right. <laughs> Paul's trying to get hints on that. So you yes. can yes. pick yes. the flavor. Good luck, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I tell you, I have to kill you. I just, <laughs> you're very alert. I just figured if I slipped it into this conversation, <laughs> it might just spill out. Tranny doesn't hire stupid people. Yeah. Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. That has been our experience. Right. So. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> One of the things I love about Trani is like the pumpkin pie comes in a mm. sauce yes. versus mm. just a syrup and like you can really taste the difference. So our pumpkin pie latte is made with a sauce. And right. Because sauce is not syrup. No. Correct. And we use syrups, and syrups are good, but they're different. Syrup is not sauce. Sauce is not syrup. And, and there, so there are particulars for that. So mm -hmm. if you're looking for ease, syrup is going to be your your option, right? And especially for gold, cold beverages, yeah. um, except for drizzle, you want to use sauce. But on a hot application, especially for a nice mouthfeel, sauce is the way to go because it's, it has a more thicker consistency. Mm -hmm. um, it just is more palatable. Yes. It's rich, creamy, decadent, drinkable dessert, basically, yes. is what you're consuming. Getting but thirsty. let's not forget about the versatility of Trani, you guys, because, yes, Five Lakes Coffee is coffee, but you do many other things besides coffee. So you yeah. can incorporate our products in many other aspects. So, for example... Executive chefs use our pumpkin pie sauce to make ravioli, pumpkin pie ravioli with cream sauce. Mm, our mango wow. smoothie for um, uh, mango chicken. Uh -huh. And then any of our syrups people are using for vinaigrettes and barbecue sauce and all kinds of things. So You're very, me very hungry. versatile. Well, I, I know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost lunchtime. I know, we haven't <laughs> eaten lunch yet. Now suddenly <laughs> I'm, I'm getting hungry. So, and also sugar free sauces too. That's nice. So we don't, you yeah. know, the chocolate. And um, do you have another sugar-free For the sugar-free, well, let me go through our sauces first. So our sauces are pure-made, which means that they're clean, yeah. um, for the exception of sugar-free. We are working on that right now. So the sauces, the chocolate, the white chocolate, caramel, pumpkin pie, and peppermint bark, those are clean. So there's no artificial colors, flavors, preservatives. Mm -hmm. We took out soy lectithin, things like that. Yeah. Sugar-free, we're still working on. But those include dark chocolate, caramel, and white chocolate. So those are the sugar-free options right now in our yeah. sauce, correct? Yeah. And I think we use caramel and dark chocolate sugar-free mm -hmm. sauces. So, yeah. so that makes a big difference on those drinks. Yeah, those, those are delicious. I hear from our customers and then, of course, myself that uh, they're almost the sugar-free sauces are almost indistinguishable mm -hmm. from the regular sauces. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's one of the reasons we use them. Yeah. And well, we use them in what? Um, and I'm cutting Julia off. No, I, She's I getting just excited. Said well. but, I just uh, said well. <laughs> what is it? We use the sauce in chocolate, caramel, pumpkin, white chocolate. Um, and I think that makes the drinks next level. It actually. does. Yeah. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Well. I can't remember what I was going <laughs> to say. That's all right. Now. So usually oh. we do a coffee break. What and happened? today we're going to do something a little different. We thought we'd have a little fun with Julia. And we have uh -huh. three different lattes, they're ice lattes, and the three of us are gonna taste test them, and we're gonna see how well Julia knows her own product. Oh, do boy. we Do so we each gonna... have different drinks, or are these the same? <laughs> no, same these... You'll, you'll pour them in these cups. Yeah, we got some little sample cups that we're gonna do. That was okay. Maya, by the way. 
And yes. Yeah, <laughs> my, she's like distance. in and out. The secrets. Yeah. Maya, do we, um, do yeah. you know what these are? I, and I the do numbers? Have, if the cups are numbered. Okay. Are they numbered? They are numbered. Okay, okay. then yes, then I know. So I think what, what we'll do is we'll each taste, uh, we'll each <laughs> taste <laughs> number yeah, one and so. we'll take a guess. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And see who is. Do you uh, want me to pour? Yeah, we might get a little messy here, but that's okay. So if are you're you watching, fourth drink? Um, if you're uh, watching uh, on YouTube, I get extra. <laughs> you'll see that we have some red Five Lakes cups here with that are. So do we need to mark lattes. this as number one? I think that's a good idea. That way I'll know. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to taste test number one and see if Julia is the real expert or if Paul is. Oh, oh boy. So we'll you, see we who has, have to who has I, uh, this is this so actually could be very embarrassing for me. So. Jared's saying he's not an expert, though. No, <laughs> it's just one of you. Well, I am a certified taste tester. Um, I'm just not very good at it. <laughs> All right, who wants to go first on number one? Mm. Number one. I recognize this flavor. I just want to make I want to make a statement. I recognize this because flavor I'm going to protect all of us from getting these wrong. <laughs> Trani has well over a hundred different flavors of syrup, mm. so yes. this might be confusing. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's true. Mm. Part of me feels like it's Irish cream. Oh boy, mm. I don't think it's Irish cream. I was going to say that out loud, but only because we don't have Irish cream. Right. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell you that. <laughs> Shh, I was going to sound smart. So, Paul, wow. you got a guess on that one? No. But I tell you what, let me have a second. I taste feel like it has a hint of caramel in it, but I don't yes. feel like it's caramel. Is like, it bourbon is it caramel? Caramel corn or? Um. Well, are you giving us there, multiple wait, choices? There we're, could not, we're not on this one. To... Oh, I mean, there could be more than one flavor. In the well, you didn't tree. say that. Oh, that's tricky. That's <laughs> no wonder I was confused. Fair. Yeah, yeah. I, so I, now, didn't, I didn't come up with this. <laughs> just, I just want to make sure that we all understand now that we have 200 different <laughs> options. Yeah. <laughs> right. I think there's caramel in that. I, agree. I don't know what else. Caramel and. But I, it doesn't feel like straight caramel. So that's just, that's the best I that, can do. That caramel would, vanilla? That would be. I'm going to go with I hear that vanilla isn't straight. caramel. And you. Okay. All right, what do, what do we got? I don't it's, think it's vanilla. I think it's, it's something different. Uh, it's caramel toffee. Caramel toffee. Uh, toffee. Uh, mm -hmm. It feels, it tastes more caramel forward. Is it yeah. even ounces? Um, or even measurement? No. Oh. Is, it, it, is caramel more forward? It's more caramel yeah. than yeah. toffee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. why it yeah. tastes more caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. I was, so we were half right, you guys. Yeah. I think we did good, considering I was. Ex I thought they were going straight flavor. Yeah. I, I, think I didn't did know they were going to throw that twist in and right. try to trick us. I think we did good yeah. because... So, number two. We we'll see had, how we did. We said caramel and I'm gonna give that as a. I'm going to give that as a correct answer for all three. Yeah, because okay, it was like caramel that. forward. Yes. I like yeah. how you work. Check. And... All right, so this we is have, number two. Number two. Oh, boy. But I think it was that that toffee, like you were guessing uh, Irish cream, which I knew was incorrect, simply because we don't have it. And then I was thinking, like, hazelnut, but I knew it wasn't hazelnut. It, there was no nuttiness to it. Yeah, it was a buttery like, flavor. It was uh, buttery and which creamy, which, which gave yeah, so Irish like, cream. Like, what is that like strange toffee. flavor? Mm -hmm. uh, toffee is my favorite. So I, don't, I, don't, I feel like this is a... Brown sugar cinnamon. <laughs> this is definitely not on the menu currently. It, I'm thinking this is something that we don't have on our menu. Oh wait, wait, wait! There's chai in there. Wait, you you got number two? Yep. I taste nutmeg and cinnamon and cardamom. Hmm. You're onto something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is definitely I not on the menu. I don't this know. is actually on the menu. Oh come on! <laughs> it is. It totally is on the menu. All right. It's cardamom. I'm, I'm failing at this one. I think. <laughs> Uh, this is funny. Is it a dirty chai latte? It is not. It tastes chai. -ish. It does taste chai like. So it's got to be pumpkin. Mm. Um, pumpkin spice. And um, but it's got something else in it. It does, of course. There's <laughs> yeah. something weird going they, on they here. Did. Pumpkin with white chocolate. Mm -mm. Can I have that number two again? I'm, gonna, I'm, <laughs> I'm so <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> He's drinking something. I'm gonna be up all night now. Speaking of. Hold Old on, age. don't say anything yet. I think it's just pumpkin pie. 
or pumpkin spice? It's pumpkin pie la- sauce with something. I mm-hmm. don't know what though. It's I can't. Something. I couldn't tell you what it was. So, what do we got, Paul? I'm gonna, what's your I'm guess? I'm gonna say pumpkin hazelnut. <laughs> 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 pumpkin maple. Pumpkin maple. Oh, that's maple. delicious. Yes. But less yes. on the maple. It is. It's pumpkin it's, forward, so I think we yeah. give it to ourselves. Um, yeah, give, give it to it. yourselves. So we're two for two. I don't think anybody here is going to take it away from us, though, either. <laughs> no. I like it. Well, Maya no. would if she could. Yeah, yeah. I'll guarantee Although, you that. Although, I don't know that I really want to give it to Jared. I'm, I'm um, really... Just because he really didn't think it was on the menu. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, then you probably shouldn't give the first yeah. one to pumpkin. me because I said Irish cream. So oh, no, this, no, no. This must be number three here. She just likes me being wrong. So I might. Uh, I uh, am. I I have to say, I'm a little disappointed that we're taste testing flavor combinations. That mm, makes it more difficult. They tricked us. Yeah, they set us up. It it wasn't me, this time. This is only one. This is not on the menu. So you're this confessing. Is correct. You're <laughs> confessing right. to past manipulation of the situation. <laughs> is what I just heard there. Maybe. Because <laughs> you said it wasn't me. This time. This time. This time. Mm. I have no it's clue on this it's one. It's a nut. I did not make it hard. It's not almond. Is it hazelnut? Mm-mm. You guys have hazelnut on we the do. menu. We do. We have, have hazelnut, hazelnut on the menu. It's got an interesting flavor on the back of my mouth. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. but Caramel corn. Popcorn. No. Corn, no corn. I wish. No. no. That, that kettle, kettle corn, corn one? Mm-hmm. I think we used all that Kettle up. corn is we very did. otherwise. I kept telling Kara, we need to sample that again. <laughs> the kettle that corn? One. Yeah. So good. I was so excited when it came out, and then when I put it in my mouth, and mm. I was like, what in the heck just happened to my palate? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, so, so what's, good. Yes. And what's I our love final ice. guess on that one? Uh, salted vanilla. Salted oh, vanilla. vanilla salt. Okay. Maya, it There's is? There's not in it. Bergamot. Bergamot. Yes. That's what I'm tasting, the bergamot. I knew you the know flavor what? on the back of and, my And I'm going to give myself tongue. a pass on that one because the only time I had bergamot was in a lemonade refresher. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Because it's not a flavor that I would typically go to when I make myself a drink. Right. Exactly. No, I, have, sure. I have over 100 to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just oh disqualify this question. It's not even a flavor we carry. And it's one out of 299 flavors that no, they offer. That's that's pushing it, but okay. <laughs> so <we're 100. laughs> All right, so we got two for two on the flavor two tasting. For two. I think that means we win, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. We win yeah. something. Here, I don't know what. Here's yeah. some applause. There you go. Yes, yes. way to go. I, I do want to get to the bottom of this taste testing. You know, normally it's, you know, yeah. you're going to taste test. It's it's not going to be these mixed flavors. Oh, that was yeah, a set up from the somebody. start. We will talk to somebody. And uh, I mean, they were delicious. They're absolutely wonderful. But well, I think it's because you had the flavor expert here who did a fantastic job yes. on that bergamot one. Yes. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> well, if you're listening to the podcast and you want a chance to win a prize, you can email us uh, questions at supercoffeebros at fivelakes.com, and if we use your email, or if we use your question that you email us, sorry, uh, we'll spin the wheel, and you'll win a prize. So today, we have a question from the Sturgis Chamber of Commerce, mm. and Hello. Carrie, Carrie would like to know, Hi, Carrie. How did you select the beans that you use in your coffee? Ooh. That's Paul, a good do you one. want to try answering that, or do you I want, me want to? Go ahead? to? I want to answer it, but the question is, would you like to answer it? I can, I can try. So it depends on, you know, if you're talking specifically our specialty drinks. Uh, many, many years ago, when we uh, first started roasting coffee back in 2004, I believe, is that right? Yeah, beginning of 2004, when we started roasting uh, our own. We had to come up with an espresso blend, and we brought in a bunch of different coffees from around the world and we taste tested them and then we took what we thought tasted good and made sense and we started mixing blends together until we came up with the perfect profile yes that and then the perfect roast so we roasted some a little lighter some medium some a little darker and we taste tested that and we designed an espresso blend that was more of a medium roast, so it's not too dark. Like sometimes you go in and you get a burnt tasting coffee or the espresso. Um, we designed our espresso not to be t- taste like it's burnt, but yet be strong enough that you taste it when you're 
tasting it with the flavors and the milk and the sugars. Mm -hmm. So it's right in the middle as far as roast goes. Um, so that was kind of the process that we, we chose for the espresso blend. That's one particular blend. I yeah. don't know if she's asking specifically for that. Well, if I could just interject, because Jared's being humble, which is really weird, <laughs> because really uh, he's the one that came up with the custom blend uh, that we use for espresso. And that espresso, it's delicious as a straight brewed coffee, but it is the foundation of all of our frozen drinks, ice drinks, and handcrafted hot beverages. So um, that is that probably most popular blend um, that we have, and it's used in everything. I don't know if that answers the question either, but we also do have coffees from each growing region around the world, which is something that's important to us to have that variety. So if you tasted the African coffees, for instance, they're a little lighter and fruitier would be one way of describing it. Indonesian coffees are earthier and a little heavier on the palate. And, uh, and then Central or Latin American coffees. And so we bring in uh, a good variety from each region so that you can always explore different coffees at Five Lakes every day when you come in. I think that's, I love the fact that you pointed that out, um, not only for myself, but there are so many people out there that don't understand the different regions of coffee. Mm -hmm. um, so the descriptors that you just gave is extremely helpful to people because it's overwhelming. I mean, it's overwhelming looking at Tarani and yeah. all the syrup, syrup flavors mm -hmm. we have. It's also very overwhelming, especially for consumers, to go to the grocery store and look at all the varieties of coffee. Yeah. How do we know which is which? And most consumers look at the levels on the bottom. Is it a light roast, dark roast, medium yeah. roast? Mm -hmm. So your descriptors are very helpful. Thank yeah. you. So, Carrie, hopefully that answered your question. And now we're going to pull up the big wheel. Oh, here it goes. I don't even remember what I called it. <laughs> it now. was Shut really back. long. The, the wheel, wheel of greatness. Five legs. <laughs> the wheel of the... <laughs> Prizes. So it's the wheel of the prize wheel. The wheel of prizes yeah. this week. Maya's gonna be Vanna White. The so, wheel of five. Yes. We're gonna <laughs> he, he used to have a snazzy name. Yeah. This I am a little disappointed this morning. I forget what Draft I call it now. But I'll have to look back at my notes. Oh, so close. What did she win? I can't see it. I can tell you. Hand. Maya? A variety pack of coffee pods. Ooh. Ooh. Wonderful. Congratulations, and Carrie. If if Five Lakes is an agreement, Tarani would love to throw in a syrup bottle of their choice that Five Lakes carries. Of so course. Five Lakes is a total That's agreement. Awesome. Yes. Along with a pump. Got to have a pump. So yes. Carrie, you just got <laughs> okay. the egg yolk Yes. Salted flavor. egg yolk. It's salted custard, Carrie. <laughs> That's well, right. She did say one that we carry so that we don't have oh, that one right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come up with a with a good flavor for Absolutely. her. Let her pick out one that is her favorite. Or give yeah. her a list of what you have and say pick one. But Trani would like to right. offer that. That's so, awesome. Thank you, Carrie. And next, just want to talk a little bit about what is happening at Five Lakes or what is coming up new. Um, really quick, I just want to mention we do a freebie Friday at least once a month on Instagram and Facebook. So if you want a chance to win something and you never know what it's going to be, keep an eye out on our uh, social media on Fridays. Usually the first Friday of every month I do it. But also uh, for December, I think we're going to do one every Friday. So if you hear yeah. this before December, keep an eye out. We'll be giving away a lot of prizes in December. Yeah. Hey, do you have a little disclaimer, though? We never, ever ask for credit card or payment information. Right. Uh, these are from us to you. They're gifts. And so... If anybody asks that kind of personal information, it's a scam, right? Yes, it so always. You, so Five Lakes Coffee really does have the 12 days of Christmas, but it's the 12 months of Christmas, yes. right? So yes, it yeah. is. Yeah. Every <laughs> last Friday of the month. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so yeah. So social media, we never ask for, like Paul said, we don't ask for any personal information. We'll, we'll just message you directly and uh, never going to ask for credit cards. So there's always yeah. scammers trying to scam people. It's crazy, but... Yeah, and happens I, almost every time. And if anybody ever wonders, call Five Lakes and ask. Yes, <laughs> yes, call us. Yeah. Um, we'll we'll let you know. Or yeah. or email supercoffeebros at fivelakes.com. That's right. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good way to do it too. So something else is really exciting, and I know Paul wanted to mention this today. What do we have coming up at Five Lakes Coffee? Well, starting in about two weeks. 
Your son just turned 16 yesterday. That's true. James. Happy birthday, James. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, James. Happy birthday, James. And, uh, Watch my daughter out. world. <laughs> oh, yeah. Roads. 16. Oh, oh, but yeah. Can, I, can I get back to the Illinois before? <laughs> well, good luck. <laughs> yes. Before he's on the road. <laughs> But if you head straight south when you leave, <laughs> you might make it. And then, and my daughter turns 14 this Saturday. Oh my goodness! So many birthdays. It is, mm-hmm. and and this Saturday is Veterans Day. So happy, <gasps> happy Veterans Day. Happy we Veterans appreciate birthday. it. Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. I, if if we didn't have people fighting for our freedom, where would we be? I got that. For and sure. so we appreciate that. Um, exciting things coming up in a couple of weeks. I think you're talking about the fact that we're getting ready um, to start letting people know about our franchise opportunity. So we currently have seven locations that we own, and we've been working this last year putting in uh, systems in place to scale the business even larger. And we already have one franchise location uh, and that's in Shipshawana, and they do a fantastic job. Boop, boop. It, it's really <laughs> exciting. And Shipshawana is a cool place, too. I mean, the name Shipshawana is just cool. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a, a unique, it's an Amish community, um, and it's a very busy place, too. Mm-hmm. So, um, and, it's been, and they've been with us since 2020, so it's been a great three years. But now we're getting ready to market this uh, opportunity to Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio. And uh, you'll be hearing about that in the next couple of weeks. We're really excited. And I've, I've got a lot to say about it, but I'm just going to leave it at that. And you can visit our website, fivelakes.com, and you can look at franchising, and you'll see. Um, you may see a note that it's coming soon, and you can just sign up for more information than as it's available. Or by the time you hear this, it might already be on there and available. just depends. So exciting. It, we're really excited because yeah. we, we want – everybody to get to experience Five Lakes. Um, We don't just sell coffee. We're really, outside of this fresh coffee product, we're really, um, we call it the Five Lakes experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, we want to bring people in and have them experience that along with discovering the, the, the magic of freshly roasted coffee. So we're excited to go beyond our region and, and take it out to more people. Well, Five Lakes Coffee is definitely a destination place, right? I mean, it's yeah. a gathering place. Even when we had our meeting earlier this morning, you had a group of, I think, I think about 15 people at a table. Probably. And I'm assuming they come here at least once a week and sit probably in the same yeah. spot, right? Um, and that's if what's not happening. Every day. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say every morning, <laughs> yeah. that every one morning. table. Yeah. yeah, and I think it's wonderful. But yeah. we're seeing that more and more. Mm-hmm. Um, instead of the bars that people used to go to, you know, can yeah. congregate, it's now your cafes, yeah. and they're playing games. And it's not just walking into a cafe and getting a latte; it's walking to a cafe, sitting there for an hour, two hours, three hours, eating breakfast and or lunch. Yeah. So it's it's mm-hmm. really cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. And Toronto is a big part of that, too. Yes, and we're very, very excited. Thank <laughs> you so much. Now I think we're to Paul's favorite part of the podcast. Oh, is this where I talk about one of my recent adventures? Do you want to do that today? <laughs> I thought that, that was in the next podcast. Oh, but did you oh, want to add that today? We'd I'd better look. hold off on <laughs> that. Then. But I do actually have some good news. So my son is in Fort Lauderdale going to school this year. And he's been there a few months. And he called me the other night, and he he finally got a job. I was just going <gasps> to say, did he get a job? Yes, I'm super <laughs> pumped. Wait, you're very excited about your child getting a job. I want to know how long has he been looking for a job? <laughs> well, he moved down there in August. Oh, okay, not too bad. No, and, and he started putting in applications, but he also had to see what his school schedule was going to yeah, be. And, yeah. and then uh, now he's worked here for years, and he's a good hard worker, but he's got a job at... I don't know if I should say this, but Publix grocery store. Nice. So I'm super pumped because nice. uh, he'll get to see what the world, the real world is like. Absolutely. And uh, work for somebody other than his uncle. And Publix <laughs> has really good options for some really cool Christmas gifts and yes. things that he can bring home to mom for the table. Yes. Yeah. Gabriel, That's are you up. listening? Did you, you hear that Christmas <laughs> list? Yeah. <laughs> Publix has nice things. That's yeah. Right. What kind of discount does he get? That's what I always ask my kids. Where are you yeah. working? What kind right. of discount can you get me? Well, I'm going to visit him in January, and yeah. I'll find out. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, he'll be back for Christmas, but then I'm going to. Very nice. Well, I don't blame you. I thought yeah. you were going to come out to California in That's February. in February. Oh, January is Florida, then February. Yes. I got gotcha, you. Wow. I got gotcha. you. I need your job. Yes. 
<laughs> he doesn't like to stay in the cold. Yeah. He gets yeah. cold. I don't think any of us do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm cold right now. So. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> but well, we, we are actually discussing it, and we're really looking forward to it um, this morning, Julia. And she has invited us in the past. Come out to the the plant in California. Yes. We've always kind of wanted to do that, but I think we're really serious about it now. And maybe over the next few months, I know you have to schedule out a ways. Yeah. Um, but we'd like to go see that cold feeling. Uh, they got a special lounge for mm -hmm. for uh, our speakeasy. Yeah, the speakeasy, <laughs> and uh, so we're excited about that and just making that connection. And we do want to do it when it's cold here because we know it's warmer there. Yeah, so. I, we are. You know, Trani moved into our state of the art facility in 2019, brand mm -hmm. new. We have a warehouse now in Kentucky. So the growth of Trani over the last five years or so and beyond um, is incredible, especially yeah. what we just came out of, right? Um, and to be able to offer open door policy to all of our operators and mm -hmm. distributor partners and chain customers is so important so they can come into our facility and see who we're about. Because yeah. we, regional managers were out here talking about our company and we're supposed to be the face of Trani, good morals, good values, right? Yeah. But to actually come out to corporate and see how our entire company is the same way is is pretty remarkable. Yeah, and Tarani actually, it's a lot like Five Lakes in that I think it's still family owned. Is that right? Yes, Lisa Lucetta is the um, granddaughter of the original owners. Uh -huh. um, it is a woman owned and family owned company. Yeah, um, we are B Corp certified, so it's all about sustainability and taking care of our people, our practices, our products. Uh, so there's a lot of things that Trani has done over the last three, three, four, five years yeah. that has really put us above our competition. Our competition is good, but there are certain things that we take a look at and taking care of our communities, mm -hmm. our, our any any cafes out there that are purposeful cafes, whether it's mental health awareness or suicide awareness, anything that's purposeful call us. Yeah. We want to support you because that's part of our B Corporation also yeah. is to really help people that are purposeful. Yeah. So keep that in mind too. Yeah. And and I think, is it over 100 years now for Toronto? Well, we're celebrating our 100th year next year. Next year. We're oh. Italian family owned. I do want to mention something that I say on almost every meeting that I'm in. Uh -huh. I am not 100 and I am <laughs> Polish and I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, Maya, so you want to jump Italian. right into not Italian. <laughs> our uh, trivia. Trivia. You want to let the audience oh, know. Oh, that's what you were talking about. Trivia. Because I'm a winner. A I need a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, we need a piece of paper for. Oh. Ooh. You know what? I could just. I'll just take one of these. That's oh yeah, just yeah, right on these. We got paper for you. There yeah. you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay, I'm ready. Oh. Don't. Don't. Okay, so don't let. Paul, he's got his reading glasses on today, so make sure he can't see your paper because oh. he likes to look. <laughs> you were looking at my paper earlier. <laughs> so, that's true. That's right. He was, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's go funny. ahead. All right. So trivia today, I kind of centered around flavor. Mm. Okay. Oh, boy. Kind of. Gave Julia chicken. an advantage. I'm the guest. Mm, no. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. Mm -mm. She tries to stump us on purpose. <laughs> it's yes. all multiple choice, you Ooh. know. I like um, it. But I am starting with kind of a geography question because, you know, can't get away from those. So the first question, Yo. which country is known for the unique tradition of adding salt to their coffee? Would it be Sweden, Brazil, Honduras, or Vietnam? Which country is known for the unique tradition of adding salt to their coffee? Can you say them again? Sweden, Brazil, Honduras, Vietnam. I'm going to say Honduras. Just write it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you write it down and then oh, I'm gonna change my answer everybody to like locks in their answer and then can you um, we see. copy your answer? Yes, yeah, so sorry. Can you just say <laughs> I didn't explain. You just said you were gonna write can down. Can you Honduras. say those words again? <laughs> Sweden, uh -huh. Brazil, uh -huh. Honduras, uh -huh. Vietnam. Uh -huh. Do you see how he's holding his hands over oh, his yeah, paper? He's oh, yeah. Gonna, he doesn't he's, want you were an expert at this in high school. Oh yes. <laughs> I got away with a lot in high school and that I now regret, and it was wrong. <laughs> All right. Everybody got their answers Mr. locked Blood. in? Yeah, locked in. Locked okay. in. All right. Um, Jared, let's start with you. I'm going to go with, uh, I believe it's Vietnam. All right. Uh, Honduras. All right. Paul? She didn't even pause on me. I think I totally <laughs> got it wrong. Well, it's interesting. I wrote down Vietnam. But 
if Jared wrote it down, I know it's wrong. <laughs> so <laughs> brotherly love. I'm changing my answer to Brazil. Can't oh. change your answer. It's too late. It, okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just All gonna right. say. Change it doesn't it. matter. I know. They because all do. because <laughs> it's actually Sweden. It is actually Sweden. Oh. And that's where I was going next. I just wanted to say that I'm very proud that all three of us got it wrong. Uh-huh. What? Me what too. do you mean we all Me three too. got it wrong? <laughs> I should have lost my first thought. I'm uh, actually, was that your first thought? Yeah. I'm surprised Julie good. didn't get it because with your Polish background in, uh. in that kind of northern <laughs> Europe next door to Sweden. Huh. You should have actually made the connection. But So can you tell me a lot about Canada? <laughs> <laughs> eh? Yes. They, they're crazy up there. Uh, no, we oui, love our oui. Canadian brothers and sisters. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> 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 I just, that just didn't seem Canadian. Anyway, okay. So flavors. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Finally. First flavor of ice cream. That Ben and Jerry ever created. Chocolate. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll give you some choices. Okay. <laughs> chocolate chip cookie dough, vanilla, chocolate fudge brownie, or half baked. That was really easy. Go ahead again. Would you repeat <laughs> All right. Chocolate chip Locked cookie in. dough, okay. vanilla, uh-huh. chocolate fudge brownie, oh, you think so, half huh? baked. You think Are so? you looking at my answers again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cheating. I just wanted to see. All right. We're gonna find out here. <laughs> uh huh. Who gets uh, to go first? Um, do you know? Do you hold your pen? We'll start with our guest. Time? We'll let her go first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vanilla. Okay. That was fast too. <laughs> <laughs> that I don't let on. <laughs> that was incorrect. You might think that'd be correct because that's kind of the basic flavor that everybody starts with. I would have thought that they would have churned it and froze it and been like, what's this? And like, oh, it's ice cream. But actually Ben and Jerry, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they're not small guys and they like a good brownie. And so they actually started with the chocolate fudge ice cream and that's what made them famous. Interesting. And everybody from Vermont knows that. Now, I don't know if anybody outside of Vermont knows that. No. We're going to find out. Okay. I'm, yeah. I'm going to agree with my older brother. I mean, he's got to yeah. have some wisdom. Uh-huh. And um, <laughs> I'm going to go with the chocolate brownie. Too. Okay. Well, first of all, I was, you know, Googling this this morning. Yes. But um, it, I read where it's a guy named Jerry that started it. Yeah. And he... Like, there is no Ben. He just added it. <laughs> Are you serious? Well... I... I I briefly, I like quickly read over it. I'm going to bring interject. it back up. Yeah. I think we should start a campaign instead mm-hmm. of Where's Waldo? Which is <laughs> right. Where's Ben? Where's, where's, where's Ben? ben? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need to go back and read it I'll again. Like make sure maybe, true. To make sure I'm accurate. <laughs> yes. But um, yeah. well, I was had a reading. Not everything we say on here is true. <laughs> That's if you're right. listening. Did you hear me say I like Googled it quick yeah. this morning? Okay. Um, actually, our, our guest is correct. It's vanilla. <gasps> I know that you think Woo-hoo. that's correct. <laughs> it was on their but, website. <laughs> but. But if you add the chocolate fudge brownie to the vanilla, yes. I'll give you guys a half point. And that's exactly <laughs> what happened. Oh, my goodness. Yes. All right. Okay. But this that was a really good explanation so you came typical. up with. <laughs> I'm going to have to call my resources in Vermont to straighten okay. this out. All right. So next question is about. Uh, five legs drinks. Mm. Okay, oh, so now we're what somewhere. I did this morning was a quick report of <laughs> year to date 2023. Six out of our seven stores, because I just used the one system, to look at uh, what was the most sold. Mm. Okay, so out of our hot specialty drinks, which one is our most popular? Okay. I will give you I choices. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you know, you it? actually are making this easy. I know. The, I don't think I like multiple choice. <laughs> I'm giving. I uh, want some liberty to. I know. Maya, to Maya, Maya okay. I appreciate you. I, I'm doing this for the guest, okay? <laughs> the guest loves you. Black I tie. Do. Is it our black tie? Our vanilla caramel latte? Our caramel mocha? Or our white chocolate mocha? And this is just for 2023 so far, year to date. In yeah. every store except Kalamazoo. You don't have to hide your answer. I already wrote mine down. Oh, yeah? <laughs> but there's still time to change it, so. I'm confident. Oh, All right, Paul. Which one did you say? Well, I happen to already know the answer because 
at Five Lakes, mm-hmm. this has been the year of black tie events. Oh. For instance, we hosted the James Bond get together and we hosted the royal wedding after party, amongst many others. <laughs> and so the black tie hmm. mocha has been extremely popular. In fact, it's the number one drink so far this year. I, it's one of my favorites. Uh, it's the favorite. Thank you, Maya. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get that for my drive back to mm. my office. Uh, my daughter likes it with peppermint. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right. It's really good. Um, Jared, what do you think? What do I think? Uh-huh. I think Paul is very close. Very close. But mm-hmm. he added the extra flavor because mm. it's not the black tie. It's the white chocolate mocha is the most popular. Mm. That's really interesting. Interesting. Yeah. All right. What Me? do you think? I think yeah. it's caramel vanilla latte. Mm. The vanilla, yeah, I mean, the VCL, honestly, I went in looking and thought, hands down, the VCL is going to win this. It was, you know? used to and it, was, it was actually close. Right. Um, now, I didn't do the iced. It, it wins in the iced category, huh. but it didn't win in the hot category. And Jared is right. Wow. I thought for sure this would stump you. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> because, nice except try. he might. Be paying more attention. I know than you I try think. to trick me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so, so let me ask a question yeah. from the flavoring side of the industry. Yes. Tell me first of all, what's in black tie? Mm. It's a combination of. Can I tell this? Of course. <laughs> our white and chocolate I'd... and our dark chocolate, oh. which are both made with rich, creamy sauces. Yes, Tarani. they are Tarani. delicious. Sauce. Well, from pure Tarani. made, clean sauces. And it, it's a. Uh, it's basically our hot chocolate with a kick. Oh, delicious. Because <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know if we should give that secret away. I'm just yep. saying, too late now. That is our favorite. That's my favorite hot chocolate. You know, our can hot we go back is my favorite hot later chocolate. and go? You can edit me out. <laughs> but <laughs> but I, it is my favorite hot chocolate. Mm, this hours. Do you happen to know, just out of curiosity, on the hot side, how much black and white is it? A black tie? Is it like mm-hmm. a, by a large percentage? That it's beating the caramel vanilla latte? Oh, that one is not. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. The vanilla caramel comes in second behind oh, okay. the white chocolate. Okay, gotcha. gotcha. So the black tie The white is third. chocolate. I, it, I didn't look. <laughs> I, mean, I looked so at the top, too. It wasn't, it wasn't near the top. So. I looked sorry. at the top, too, well, and was like, oh. But well, maybe it will be after this podcast. Again, now everybody knows the, the, black the black tie, tie is, is a so rich, yummy. creamy combination of dark and white chocolate Tarani sauce. Delicious. And you guys, it you is. can add any flavoring to that too. So yes. if you wanted a peppermint black tie or you oh wanted a goodness. raspberry black tie, can you imagine mm-hmm. raspberry syrup with black or what? Uh, sorry, white chocolate sauce and dark chocolate sauce? Yeah. I am imagining. I think I'm going to add that <laughs> yeah. to my drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That sounds sounds good. wonderful. Mm-hmm. So what's the score so far, Maya? Uh, you have one. I've got one. Our okay. guest has one. Paul mm-hmm. has How many does Paul have? Zero. Zero. Okay. <laughs> well, now, just refresh my memory, because if, yeah. if I'm correct, this is like golf. Lowest score wins? No. N- not correct. <laughs> not correct? I'm refreshing your memory. You're not correct. <laughs> oh, I've been playing this all wrong. Oh. Okay, time okay. to get serious. Now, here's another ice cream question, and this would be... Mm, chocolate truffle. <laughs> what's funny... Um, this would be, you guys will have a leg up if you pay attention. Um, what's my favorite brand of ice cream? I'll this give is, you some. This isn't fair to I'll Tarani give you some cho- <laughs> choices. <laughs> I know. Oh, <laughs> this I, one's not. I don't even need you to tell me. I already know. Okay. Go ahead. Hudsonville, which, you know, Michigan yeah, ice cream. Yeah. Ben and Jerry's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Plainwell. Mm-hmm. Briars. Mm. What was the first one? Hudsonville. I'm just going to guess because I'm not from here. It's so good. Well, that just gave me the no. answer. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's so good that you're not from here. That's fine. <laughs> we're, I'm, I'm from Wisconsin. We're mirrored there. states. We're fine. We're fine. We'll see who pays attention copy in the Julia. office. <laughs> I didn't copy. Okay. What was the, what was the questions you. again? Uh, Hudsonville, can read it. Ben and Jerry's, <laughs> Plainwell so Ice Cream, Briars. All which, right, locked which, in. Okay, Jared, which one? <laughs> I'm in trouble. <laughs> I am in trouble. Uh. In, it's got to be plain well. All right. Hudsonville. Well, plain well. 
<laughs> it is Plainwell ice cream. Why you is Plainwell better than Hudsonville? We uh, don't know, but she it likes is it. It's so better. good. It is like smoother and uh, it's so good. Is it more of like so a so custardy thing? Have you like been to Mooville? No, I haven't been to Mooville. I have heard they are good. Because their ice cream is really good. Mooville is delicious. I have not been. You need to go. But, okay, you I will. change your mind. I will. Have I'll go and to, try it. But have you been to Freakin' Sweets? Yes, and they serve Plain Well ice cream. Oh, no wonder you're down there and all the time. <laughs> plain, yes. Freakin' Sweets and ab- Apple Knockers in Vicksburg serve Plain Well ice cream. Oh, yeah. You I think we have to do a road time. trip, Maya. Yeah. So you can take me around to these places. Absolutely. Just, Tarani, I'm taking a break <laughs> to taste ice cream. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, they could, you they could, could flavor ice cream with yeah, Tarani. The, the sauces? Sure. You could totally put oh, that on can, ice cream. You can add. Mm. Our I might syrup. have done it before, actually. <laughs> you can actually add our wow. syrup to any ice cream in the oh, batch, or you can yeah. make a shake with it. Oh, mm-hmm. absolutely. Now, I'm I'm hooked on Kilwin's coffee chocolate chip. Oh, Kilwin's oh, is good. That too. sounds good. Mm-hmm. Uh, ice cream. I think they call it cappuccino chip, but. Okay. That's a great name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're from Michigan, but I eat it in Florida. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's how warmer there. Mm-hmm. It is. <laughs> I like their I, mint I chocolate stop, chip. But. It's good. Okay, last question. Mm-hmm. So we're at one, two, one, one, one two. Okay. Right. One, I did have a tiebreaker just in case. Oh, well, I'll save might. it for later. <laughs> yes. Let's see what happens. Oh, she okay. doesn't sound. It doesn't seem like. She no, we'll, we'll see. Get this. Maybe you two will tie. Let's see. Maybe all three of us. Well, will actually, tie. yes. She this is a flavor question. This is a flavor. Tie. This 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 has to do with flavors. So, out of our smoothies, yes. I did the same thing. Ran the report. Oh no! Smoothies is my strong. Out of our smoothies, <laughs> which one is our most popular? Shall I give you choices or just? I'll give you choices. Mango. Uh, the blueberry pomegranate, strawberry, or wild berry. Which one? I should know this. You know what? He's yes. gonna. He's going rogue. <laughs> he's going he's rogue. He's hoping that he doesn't want to die. He doesn't want the tiebreaker. <laughs> okay. Okay. What do you think? I'm gonna say wild berry. Okay. I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the okay. distributor. <laughs> <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> that, that wild berry should not have even been a choice. That's, yeah. that's not I had even to go fair. With, I had to it go only, with our It was only because we were out of stock and Alan called me, where's the wild berry? Yeah, <laughs> they, uh, when it came to my <laughs> they did some. It's... Me? Yeah. Well, I remember a time when I was in Honduras, and there's a a beautiful tropical tree. And before this <laughs> occasion, I would never eat this fruit. I thought it was disgusting. But then it ripened and fell off the tree, and I picked it up and ate it. Mm-hmm. And it was mango. Mm-hmm. And I, ever since then, I've been a fan of the mango. And so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually think that the mango smoothie is our most popular. Because I think there are a lot of people that have that same experience. All right. That same experience yes. being in Honduras and having it drop well, off the tree. and that it. or it falls <laughs> out of the box at the grocery store to their feet. They pick it up and eat it okay. after they, they wipe pick, it off. They pick, is that like a 10 <laughs> second rule? Yes. 10 <laughs> seconds. Okay. Okay. That's I'm, I'm going to go. An interesting <laughs> description. I'm going to go with one of our, my favorite colors and the color of our logo. Oh. And the color Pink. of the Tarani jacket there, and with red, I think it's strawberry. It is strawberry. And you know what? Mango was a close second. And that's funny. Mm. It's not funny. Mm. It's actually in line with the two top selling flavors in this region, which is strawberry is number one and mango is number two. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's yeah. what we, ours are right. number one and number two. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great mango margarita if you want to make one at home. Oh. Especially if you get some <laughs> jalapeno vodka or tequila. It's right. delicious. How, I right. didn't know they made such a thing. They do. It seems spicy. <laughs> Our working beverage. Spicy. Anyway, well... Well, Looks like Jared job. wins again. Looks like, oh, did I win before? <laughs> so does he get a prize? Like <laughs> Should we bring out the wheel? Bragging rights. Yes. It, it gives him a bigger head. <laughs> does he get a free combo pack in Toronto bottle? Yes. I hope so. Yes. Yeah, we're yeah, actually absolutely. waiting for the day he can't fit back out the door, and we're just going to lock it behind us and leave. <laughs> 
Well, never thank come you. back. I'll, I'll get you out of there. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you, Julia, for coming. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you so much. time with us. Great time, guys. Yeah. My first podcast. <laughs> a lot of fun. So fun. Um, thanks for listening, everybody. Remember, email us at supercoffeebros at fivelakes.com. Give us your questions. You might win something out of the big wheel of prizes. <laughs> <laughs> I change the name every time. Uh-huh. Yeah, you've yeah. done better in the past. I have. So I'll have <laughs> Maybe to look next back. time. Um, but yeah, listen to us on Spotify. Uh, share. If you enjoy yourself, you can rate us. If you don't enjoy us, we ask you that you don't rate us. <laughs> <laughs> Only five stars. So thank you. Have a great week, everybody. Talk take, to you soon. Take care of each other. Mm. Take care. <laughs>